Good evening, friends. So I'm gonna show you what we've been up to on the farm. We've been crazy busy for the last few days. Um, we've been trying to clear some more land over here by the pigs. So that involves clearing a lot of bush and trees and stumps and all that. So this area right here where the pigs are now has been all cleared by hand, like with a chainsaw. So, I mean, kind of by hand and kind of not but not with heavy machinery, I guess I should say. Anyway, um, so my husband finally rented a mini excavator and we were able to pull out all of the stumps that we've been tripping over for the last two years on like our main walkways here. And he was able to also smooth out the dirt and just make it a lot more easy to walk on and give us a lot more room here. So this is what we're looking at. This is what we've been doing. Smoothing everything out. It looks so much better than it did before. So much more room back here. The soil is so nice. This is our great big burn pile. We already burnt one about half the size last winter. Or not last winter, the winter before, I guess. And now we have to burn this one this winter. So these are all the trees that we cut up. All the bigger parts of the tree, so close to the trunk base, we cut that up into firewood. So while Cole's been running the mini excavator, I have been collecting the firewood in the back of the truck and stacking it over by our fire pit. So that's been keeping me very busy. Yeah, and we just had like a whole bunch of stumps like all over here. So this section, this little trail right here, not this part, but just this trail, this part, and this part is kind of what we had cleared before. And that was all full of stumps. So it made it extremely inconvenient to walk back here and also really not good for bringing feed over here because we were always terrified that we were going to puncture a tractor tire. Or when we put the posts in and we had the post pounder attached to the back of the truck, backing in here, we were all so worried that we were going to pop a tire obviously yeah so we just did a lot of smoothing um this section here is new this year and obviously once the burn pile has gone there'll be a lot more room there and yeah my husband uh cut all of those trees out of there just in the last month or so he left all the stumps about two feet three feet high so that he could dig around them with the excavator and pull them out properly and uh, this section right here is also brand new. Our plan here, we have a farrowing barn over here, this guy right here. And uh, this side is for the sows and this other side, there's a pen on that side as well for sows. So we kind of have two farrowing areas, but not really meant for that. We kind of set up the far end for farrowing and then we just kind of makeshift made that one into a farrowing stall because we grew too fast and didn't have enough facilities. So then this pen here kind of became our sow pen. And then this pen here, it's a mess. We haven't cleaned it up here yet since running all the excavator stuff. But anyhow, this is kind of like our weaning pen. This is also somewhat new. Um, the pigs kind of cleared this out for us a few years ago but there were still lots of stumps left over so my husband Cole cleaned that all up and my plan is I think we're gonna store our feed here instead of right here behind the pens. Hi Cece! Yeah so this is gonna be feed storage and also um, probably move the dog houses over here and some dog pens so that the dogs are over here. This part over here, this nice new section of land that's all smoothed out, that's going to be hopefully where our new farrowing barn is going to go. And it's going to be sort of like that one, sort of like this guy here, but double. So this plus this and a big alleyway in between. So our plan is to have eight stalls in the new barn and pens on each stall. 
and a big alleyway in the middle so that we have a lot easier time moving sows and moving pigs around. And we will have the pigs set up so that we can reach the piglets without having to go in the pen with the sow and make it easier for us to clean out the barn. Um, this section here is our new water drainage and it goes all the way down. So the water naturally ran here anyway, but it used to run down this trail here, which is where we drive and where we, you know, we bring the tractor back here. If we have people buying pigs or if we sold a pig or whatever, this is obviously the trail that we take with the truck to back a trailer into here. And half of the year it's either completely flooded out or icy. It's just terrible because all the water was draining there. So we have it set to drain beside here now. And it goes along kind of like a little swale all the way down and then meets up with where it naturally drained before. So that'll just take care of our water problem a little bit. Um, right here where we had feed stored this spring um, because of the way the ground was sloped, the water started coming up and actually touching our feed bags and it got all wet in here and it wouldn't drain. It was terrible. So water drainage big big thing that we needed to fix yeah so I mean that's kind of what we've been up to lately it's been a lot of work and my husband is still running the excavator right now I don't know if you've ever <laughs> rented equipment but usually when we rent equipment we use it and use it and use it for the whole time we have it sun up to sundown so right now what he's doing is clearing some stumps out of another area so that he can put his wood sheds over there. This is uh, another drainage area. So this is kind of like where our sewer naturally runs, but we put a proper trench in and we're gonna build a bridge here. Yeah, so he's over there in the excavator. Clearing out some stumps and leveling off stuff again so he can move sheds over there to store wood in. Hey, Summit. Big project. Lots of manual labor we've been doing. And it's been really hot here too. Like, plus 30. Really darn hot. But I'm really glad to see this taking shape. It's going to be so awesome when it's all finished. And so much more user-friendly and no more flooding, I hope. I hope the water will drain here and properly. Yeah, so that's exciting. That's what we've been up to. We've been busy, busy beavers. Thanks for following along, guys. I will keep you updated on any more progress that we make. I'm sure we'll be busy doing more to this area in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next video.